Yo, 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 share this video, man. It's gonna be a real good one, okay? I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna get some real, real deep information in here because it's, it's about to be four in the morning. I've made a personal breakthrough. All right, I wanna share my breakthrough with the people. I need y'all to share the video. Uh, I got a few people uh, who I see enjoy my videos. I appreciate your views and your comments and your likes. I appreciate all that. But I, what I really would appreciate, what would really help is to share the video because if it helps you, I'm sure that it may help somebody else to come across the video as well. So just share the knowledge, share the light, and uh, if you're up to it, uh, you need to be spreading your own light. Okay? But that's not what this is about at all. So, I've come to a point in my life where I'm very comfortable. Okay? I'm comfortable to the point where I spend more of my time thinking about how to help others than helping myself because I don't really see any problems that I have and it's like you always have problems you can't be too comfortable you can't get too comfortable okay I want you to know that if you don't see any problems then you won't see any solutions okay what is the number one goal of incarnating into this world and having this experience? The number one goal is to master yourself. So I've made this my goal. It has become apparent to me that that is what I need to spend my time doing and my energy, energy doing. Mastering myself. That means removing all stumbling blocks, no matter what they may be, no matter what things you may be attached to, no matter what things you are used to doing and the patterns that you are used to having in your mind and love so much. Sometimes when you're too comfortable, there's no room for growth. Growth is uncomfortable. Growth is uncomfortable. To become your greater self is a very uncomfortable thing, but it's very fulfilling and satisfying. I am very comfortable, but I feel a bit unsatisfied and a bit unfulfilled. And how can it be? I was thinking like, how can it be? I have everything perfectly the way I wanted it to be placed. But there is an unfulfilledness because I didn't transform until the best form of myself yet. And I know that is what I truly yearn inside but just know that it is very uncomfortable when a caterpillar goes into its cocoon and goes through its metamorphosis that is a very uncomfortable and painful growing process it grows wings out of itself okay but it becomes beautiful in the end and it is very fulfilled it could have been comfortable being that caterpillar, but it would have never knew that it could fly. Okay? You could fly. Maybe you're running and you're comfortable, but you could fly. But all stumbling blocks, no matter what, no matter what attachments, that means the people that you love around you, if, they, if the energy that you are spending with them aren't benefiting you or growing you, then you must remove stumbling blocks. You must spend your energy towards things that will build you and your uprise. This is the golden age. This is the time. This is the time for masculine energy. This is the time for masculine energy. The feminine energy is the energy that waits. The masculine energy is the energy that is action. The masculine builds the tree and the feminine completes it and makes it whole puts the tar star on top and shines and pulls it together and makes the masculine what it needs to be so the masculine and feminine must work together but the masculine needs to 
be more masculine and put in its action and its work. There's it's, there's no more sitting and waiting. It's action. It's growing. It's it's blooming now. It's blooming season. Life is coming back. It's blooming. The trees is blooming again, okay? It's time for growth. It's time for understanding, realization, revelation, revelations. That's what it's time for. This is the golden age. We're going into the golden age. They want us. It, we were in the age of information. We're going into the golden age. So what you think, your thoughts must be golden. The people around you must be golden. Your goals must be golden. Your morals must be golden. You must strive to be golden and shine and have luster and be beautiful and more beautiful than you ever were before because there is always room for growth. But the great thing about not not having the peak of yourself yet is the fact that you get to experience the, the the it's in the journey you get to experience and grow this is the time and it's a very beautiful time take the energies and transmute it because the energies that you go into this new world with is the energies that you will be trapped with this is a warning i'm telling you now the energies that you go into this new world with is the energies that you will be trapped with The world and God is separating. There is separation happening right now. The genes and the DNA in the man in mankind is waking up. Even the enemy is seeing the faults in itself. And it's self-destructing. It is imploding. It's not exploding, it's imploding. This is this is spiritual. Everything that's happening in the world is spiritual. Y'all worried about a virus is more than a virus. You're the virus. <laughs> Y'all manifest. Together we manifested the virus. We know it's engineered. But. This is higher than that. This this dimension this dimension and what we're experiencing is a uh, is a um, trickle down of what's happening in the dimensions above it. So there's a spiritual revolution happening. There's awakening happening. The weight the earth is waking up. The planet is becoming aware of what's happening, and it is making the proper changes and adjustments to become better. The cells which are you on the planet earth, which is the body are waking up and starting to help the planet and starting to help mankind. Huge turnaround. Didn't we didn't realize, or a lot of people didn't realize that there was always yin and yang and an opposing force to the evil. It is just the evil is broadcasted to you more so you don't see and understand that this this is war, spiritual war. And we actually have them where we want them because the universe is on our side on this. one. You know why? All those thousands of years that we guess what this is a new part of the cycle. We are in Aquarius. We are going into the golden age. But no. Those. Who don't make the change. In the new world will be trapped. With that energy. And that energy will not work in the new world. That energy is of the old world. So you must. Be welcome to change. And growth. And doing things that you are uncomfortable with. 
master thyself, mastering yourself. To master yourself, the first part you have to do is know thyself. If you don't even, you, a lot of people don't even know themselves. You have to know yourself, and to know yourself, you have to be by yourself. You have to spend time with your thoughts. You have to stop running away from yourself. You have to be responsible for the energy that you are having. If you aren't responsible for the karma and taking it and feeling it and taking that time to feel the bad energy, the bad energy will play out in your life because it has to play out. So if you don't let it play out in your mind and on the inside and deal with it, then it's going to deal with you on the outside. How about that? What you got to know is that you want to be a part of this shift. You want to, you want to, you want to ascend. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, everybody become a conspiracy theorist now. All right. I'm telling you, everybody who's not go, who's not with the ascension is going to be stuck and trapped where they at. You comfortable now, but soon you'll become uncomfortable because you will be forced to grow. But sometimes when you're in a box, you aren't able to grow anymore. Are you? No. Because you didn't grow when the sun wanted you to. So, death comes, and horrible things come, because people were ready to grow and face themselves. Now, I told you that this is a good one. Share. Share this video. We need to, we need to start sharing our message. If we're not putting the message out with, with the light, we're not putting the light out. The least we could do is reflect the light to others. Okay. I have a goal of reaching 500 subscribers. That's nice, but I'd rather people share the video so that someone can hear this and the genes in their body and the DNA be activated so that they can wake up and realize what am I doing? That's what just happened to me. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. That's what just happened to me. What am I doing? There are stumbling blocks in my path. You know what your stumbling blocks are. There are stumbling blocks in my path. Small things that distract me that I'm okay with. But I shouldn't be okay with it if the overall goal is mastering myself. So it is okay to be comfortable for a while. We deserve to be comfortable. But after a while, let's get, get up. Built. Okay, and if you've built, now you gotta build an addition. After you have enjoyed what you built, now you add to that and make that better and bigger. This is the truth, the undeniable truth. This is the word speaking through me. And this can be channeled through anyone who understands that there is a change happening in the world. And if you are not with the change, that you are going against the grain, and that you are not needed for the planet. And then comes death. If you are not needed, for this timeline to progress, then you will be shifted into a new paradigm and a new timeline for you to progress for yourself because you no longer need this world if this world no longer needs you. Mm. So, you will wake up to a new reality and that is okay. But those of this timeline and are meant and written to do certain things. Destined to do certain things. This is your call. Wake up. You know your purpose. Begin to live it. And that's why I'm in it. Deuces.